A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, uh, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance, but I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she might be. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I found them a day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? Still good. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard of the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been in. That 
That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. What? I got bit. And I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. No. I'll be with her and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Are you... I'm glad too. Okay. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. Who are you? Why not? A girl? Go? Ah, there it is. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad. It's all over, huh? Isn't it? Just about. I hate saying it like this. I just miss your smile. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. He, he, he could come back. It's okay, sweetie. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. It take you. Yeah.
No, I know. Which way out? Through there. So and you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> 